past year, IKEA Group has been focusing on food and life in and around the kitchen. Led by our theme, it starts with the food. We looked into people's needs and expectations at home and in our stores and restaurants. Emotions are really the most important. I think it's the most important word when it comes to food because it's a question of interaction with you. It's a question to have a good food for a good price and uh, instant gratification, I would say. Customer research inspired us to make improvements in the stores in the way we integrate food with home furnishing products. And thanks to everybody's joint efforts, this year's turnover in restaurants, bistros and Swedish food markets within the IKEA group ended at 1.7 billion euros. Every year we renew our range, launching approximately 2,500 new products. This includes unique limited edition collections, made in collaboration with contemporary independent designers. When we talk about democratic design at IKEA, all our products have a five key approach. Obviously quality and the form, how we design them, our price as a constant companion to secure that we are approachable to the customers as a low price perception company. Sustainability, a big part that we have in general, overall, that in everything that we do, and obviously the function. In December 2015, world leaders gathered in Paris for the United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP21. IKEA Group was there to show that we go all in to tackle climate change. By 2020, we have committed to produce as much renewable energy as we use in our own operations. We already own and operate over 300 wind turbines and we have installed over 700,000 solar panels on our buildings around the world and there is more to come. The IKEA stores are still the most important place to meet our customers. During FY16, we've had 783 million store visits and we've opened 12 new stores. We've had 2.1 billion online visits worldwide and we've opened 19 new pickup and order points. By expanding the number of touch points, we can reach more people and create a better customer experience. During the year, we've been working on a customer experience map where we really take an outside-in perspective, putting on the customer's shoes in every step of the journey that they will take with us. In April 2016, co-workers worldwide came together for IKEA Talent Focus Week in their local workplaces to get inspired and discuss the many ways to grow and develop within the different IKEA companies. IKEA Talent Week was about actually showing our co-workers all the possibilities within the IKEA organization. We have an entire landscape that we can lift up and show to our co-workers. To work at IKEA is amazing. We are a huge group. We're all different, but at the same time we're all here for the same reason. To meet our customers in the best way. Well, I'm most uh, proud of the fact that we're actually developing and growing IKEA in a sustainable way. We feel almost obliged to grow, but we want to do so within the limits of the planet. And what I hear and see in the, in the world, amongst our customers, amongst the NGOs and governments, is that IKEA is starting to become a climate champion, and that makes me really proud. Well, we've just concluded fiscal year 16 and overall it looks like we have had a really good year together. We continue to grow our sales with about 8% to 34.2 billion euros, which is really a great achievement uh, given all the hard work that's going on in the organization. Well, I think that we are on a super exciting journey to continue to grow and develop IKEA to become the world's leading multi-channel home furnishing retailer. It's very much about having a stronger customer focus and bringing IKEA closer to our customers through our stores, through our pickup points, online, as well as through our shopping centers. Well, if we add up uh, the total sales with the rental income from our shopping center business, all in all, the total income ended up on 35.1 billion euros which is plus 7.4% compared to the year before. So uh, uh, we've done a lot of things that has turned out uh, really great. We have some challenges for the future. So uh, uh, with that said, I would like to conclude with saying big thanks to all of our coworkers. 
because you have all contributed to the success of IKEA so far and you will play a very vital important role in developing IKEA towards the future too. Check out the complete IKEA Group yearly summary at ikea.com/ikeagroup16.